today we'll look at a really easy way to find the vertical asymptotes from a tangent equation. All you have to do is take the horizontal transformations and set them equal to the parent asymptotes from tangent x, so that's pi over 2 plus pi k. And I represent the horizontal transformations with this bx minus c that's from like the general equation for tangent. But a great way to think of that is just it's whatever is inside the parentheses of tangent. You're taking the inputs of the tangent function and setting them equal to those asymptotes. So you're basically applying those horizontal transformations to the original vertical asymptotes to get the ones that you want. So really straightforward. Let me show you how it works. So we're trying to find the vertical asymptotes of y equals tangent of 2x. So take your inputs of your tangent function here. It's just 2x and set that equal to pi over 2 plus pi k. Now k is an integer, and we'll talk a little bit more about that in just a moment. From here, all you have to do is solve for x, and you'll have your equation for all the asymptotes of tan 2x. So to solve for x, all we have to do is divide both sides by 2. Just make sure you divide every single term. So sometimes I like to say multiply by 1 half, or just divide by 2, divide by 2. So let's clean that up to get our equation. It's x equals pi over 4 plus pi over 2k. This equation will get you all of the asymptotes for your graph. So if you want to see how that works, just choose a few different integers for k. I always like to start with k equals 0. It's usually a really easy one to find. Plugging in k is 0, of course, that cancels out that second term, and you find that you have an asymptote here at x equals pi over 4. All right, so you wanted to find another one just to the right of that one. You would plug in k equals 1. Okay, so just showing that really quickly, we have x equals pi over 4 plus pi over 2 times 1. And to add that together, you just need a common denominator of 4. So rewrite pi over 2 as 2 pi over 4 and then add. Okay, so 1 pi over 4 plus 2 pi over 4, there's another asymptote at x equals 3 pi over 4. One more, hopefully you've got it at this point, but we'll let k equal a negative integer, negative 1 here. Okay, so we have x equals pi over 4 plus pi over 2 times negative 1, so you're going to end up subtracting the second term. Let's get a common denominator. Okay, again, we'll rewrite that, but it's minus 2 pi over 4 here. Easy enough. Now we have 1 pi over 4 minus 2 pi over 4, so we have an asymptote at x equals negative pi over 4. Hopefully this helps you see a really easy way to find these vertical asymptotes from an equation. It's also a great way to double check your graph. So just practice a few times, uh, subscribe for some more examples, and once you've done this a few times, you'll really have it under your belt. So thanks for watching and good luck with your asymptotes.